Hey guys, Eric Larson, HB Leatherworks. It's been a long time since I put a video on. Thought I'd do a quickie on how to do some pretty detail molding in a holster. So, um, Glocks essentially are boring as shit to make holsters for, pardon the language. So, I kind of like to dress them up a little bit. Anyway, this is a unique holster. This is for one of my regular clients, and I do a lot of stuff for local people that I try and avoid for just the net. This has CompTAC clips on it. Uh, it's an inside the waistband tuckable, and he doesn't like metal clips. They cut the hell out of his car interior, which they can do. So anyway, this is about 85% dry. What I'm going to do is just put some Final Crush stuff on it. It looks good. Notice the insanely high-tech tool he's got there. It's called yeah. the Sharpie. Thanks, boo. I love it. I buffed this and sanded it smooth, and honestly, this is one of my favorite tools. So. It works really good. Um, what I'm going to do right now is use all of my body weight to put a little trigger guard divot. Remember, with leather holsters, the only two places you get retention are the ejection port and trigger the trigger guard. Anyway, I am going to go to my deer horn and I'm not going to do a lot with this holster. Okay? He likes stuff pretty basic and simple. So, I mean, this is like literally a two minute detail mold job. Now, one of the secrets that I'll pass on to you guys, this is five to six ounce bull hide. This is incredibly thin stuff. My edge right there measures about three sixteenths. So I mean, pretty thin. Anyway, like I said, this guy likes things pretty simple, but I like to add a little bit of, of coolness to his leather but my point is with that really thin bull hide it's very dense stuff but it's still pretty flexible because of the the thickness so the impressions in the trigger guard will give it that click as it goes in the holster so anyway this is a real whalebone bone folder that I've had for probably 20 years and all I'm going to do are put some hard lines in this thing and it's it's going to give it a much more much more finished look quick down dirty Nothing extravagant. And see, that's it for the front side. That's all I really want to do. And for the back, I'm going to follow the same lines. Like I said, Glocks are very popular. But honestly, Glocks are about as boring to mold as, as any gun you'll ever find. They're essentially flat. Except like the little Glock 34. So, I mean, that's that dresses that up a bit. On the front, it doesn't get too busy. It adds a little bit of detail to it to, you know, to add something to the eye of the beholder, as it were. If I want, I can add a line here. I might have taken that a little too far, so I'll smooth that out with my... Anyway, there you have it. I'm going to let this dry for the rest of the day, and then we'll dye it tomorrow, clear coated on uh, 
the next day. I like to give my stuff at least 12 to 24 hours that the dye, I've said this before, dye has obviously pigment in it, which makes it dye. It has stabilizers, preservatives, fillers, it has all kinds of fun stuff in it, and it's formulated pretty cool. <coughs> it's formulated so the dye soaks into the leather, the preservatives and the stabilizers leach to the top and will evaporate, or if it's crappy dye or old, it'll create a dust on the holster and we've all had that happen. You gotta buff the crap out of that. Anyway, clear coat goes through the same process. Clear coat goes through an outgassing or a leaching process. Clear coat has a bunch of clear platelets that are floating around in the clear coat and as all of that stuff, the, the stabilizers and, and preservatives evaporate out of it, those platelets lay down on each other and that, that's what gives it its toughness, its moisture resistance, the shine, and clear coat will actually outgas for 24 to 48 hours. So it's really critical that you don't let your customer manhandle your holster for the first 48 hours after you clear coat. Just a tip. Anyway, that's it. Thanks for watching. Comments are welcome. And uh, have a good day. See ya.